welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Sun moon and rising um, um, for the Sun moon and rising cancers I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of February month of February carries the energy of a fire energy your water sign um, the two last weeks are going to be good for you guys because the zodiac energy um, for the two first weeks it is the energy of hair and uh, for the two last week it's going to be the energy of uh, fire so okay let's do this I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for your likes, shares and support please remember to listen to the general readings and your Sun moon horizon sign if you'd like a private reading please look at the bottom of this video there is a link that you can just press on that link a booking link that takes you to my website to remember to always leave a, um, to always <clears throat> make a, a message um, to send your full name date of birth and um, uh, and the met the questions that you have thank you for the supports and the shares and the likes it's going to be a bunch of fire fire um, the energy of the chariot is always supporting in this month okay um, there is four weeks in this month and as we go in the month your energy is also a fire energy the energy of the devil so it is a fire energy that is coming in so you guys are water sign and you have to deal with this fire energy that is coming in it is a karmatic situation whatever that's transpired in this month it's going to be a karmatic situation that is happening for you cancers so okay let's go ahead and look at the first week the first week is the energy of the the, the general energy of the tower and you guys have the daughter of ones this energy of uh, the daughter of ones you have to deal with someone who is between the ages of 18 and 40 and she is and um, and a queer no an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius it could be your child or it could be uh, someone on the work floor or it could be someone in an organization but this is the energy and whatever has transpired the energy of the tower is down and the daughter of ones is here and we are going to see what else is going to transpire why is she here in the first week in the second week there is the energy vibration of the star and let's see what you have you have the energy of the tower so the energy of the star and the energy of the tower wow um, this is definitely a karmatic situation that is going on for you cancers a whole lot of karmatic situation because you have the energy of the tower and it is the the week of the star which is an air air and fire is not that well so um, let's brace ourselves in this month let's look at the third week third week has the energy of the moon and what does the cancers have you have the three of ones heartbreak heartbreak coming in heartbreak seems to be coming in heartbreak and loss seems to be coming in in a lot of um, situations let's move forward and look at the fourth week the fourth week have the energy of the Sun let's see what is happening for the cancers in the fourth week you have the mother of wands the mother of wands so okay uh, the energy as and tone as set for this month for you um, cancers because some of you or having a um, situation with a fire sign it's all about fire you have um, a someone it can be a, a, a gentleman or a woman that is uh, you're having a situation with in the first week and then you have the energy of the tower in the second week you have art break the three of swords in the third week and in the fourth week you have the mother of ones so you, some of you will be um, um, some of you will have to be dealing with someone who is an Leo and Aries and Leo so you are all dealing with the Aries Leo and Sagittarius in this month so some people will be dealing with the Aries some people will be dealing with the Leo some people will be dealing with the Sagittarius so let's see what is happening with the daughter of ones and the tower the energy of the daughter of ones and the tower 
um, the energy of the daughter of wands and the tower it has to do with your work situation it has to do with your work situation and there is an uh, something is going to be ending okay so it's as if someone um, who is younger than you are and is a fire sign person and uh, this is person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that's something that happens at your work that is going to happen between the first and second week and it is at your work it can be an opening and it can be that you have started in January there is a situation that this woman as and the tower blows up okay let's look and see what is happening between the energy of the tower and loss money 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 okay so you have the ten of pentacles so with whatever that has transpired and whatever lies and whatever that was told and whatever that was uh, um, erupted and that sort of a thing you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles which is good because from the um, upheaval from the tower and you felt a loss of something you're going to gain um, money and it could be that that is what is happening you're gaining money from this and this is going to be good okay so sometimes things unjust things has happened and then everything has to blow up and then it brings you prosperity and that's most of the time what happened because when people sue it's because something um, injustice has happened to them and that's why they sue and it always end up bringing them a lot of money let's see what happened with the loss and heartbreak and this king of and this queen of wands let's see what is going to be transpiring you need to listen to your intuition and guidance the I princess it wants you to listen to your intuition and guidance about the situation so listen listen there is a situation that is happening and you need to listen to your intuition and guidance whatever is transpiring the heartbreak um, with this woman who is um, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius listen to your intuition okay because your intuition is right on track listen to your intuition there is a reason why you should listen to your intuition for this reason because um, it is a common clear so for some people um, there is going to be if you're looking for work work is going to be coming in and it's going to be paying a whole lot but listen to your intuition your intuition is going to guide you in this um, situation okay let's see what is happening with this um, portal of opening that is happening you have the son of ones in reverse and this is good um, I like when he's in reverse because um, is uh, doing a lot of so whoever that was uh, listening whoever that was trying to receive information whoever that has been involved in your life and trying to make a, um, a lot of situation in balance in your life the tower comes up and blow him out and now he is in the reverse and this is someone between the ages of 18 and 40 so they can come in different um, age group between the ages of 18 and 40 this person is it is now coming to an end because something happened and the explosion of the tower removing this person and this person is now in the reverse form it can be somebody that has been listening putting listening devices in your telephone your house and that sort of a, a way listening um, to what is happening and you're going to be seeing this happening as we move forward and look at the energy of ten of pentacles and the eye princess you have the ten of wands you have the ten of wands and the energy of the ten of wands of what is happening here is that you're seeing that there was a loss and heartbreak and now you have a burden to carry and do not be alert by this burden because it is the end of a situation whatever that was lost you're receiving money and you're receiving um, your intuition is much much alert now so um, this energy of because this is all that is happening this is the energy that you're carrying in this month and this is the energy that you're dealing with a lot of things and a lot of you um, 
um, cancers are dealing with these uh, um, these energies of these fire sign people. So um, um, let's see the outcomes of your month. You can say the outcomes of your month is the world. Thank God. So you overcome that fire energy. Okay, I've seen, and this is good for you, Cancers. Okay, this is very, very good for you, Cancers. And this is extremely good for you, Cancers, because what is happening is that this is the energy of the Aries. Okay, this is the energy of the Aries. Okay, and as you realize in the first week and the last week, you have to deal with someone some of you will be dealing with the energy vibration of the young Aries and this is the Aries um, the Leos or the Sagittarians as you move forward and you look there is a tower there's something that is breaking down because obviously um, this this is if you or uh, a cancer who is with someone who is an Aries um, something is going to end you're going to have a break there is going to be a huge heartbreak. Um, it's going to be an ending. There is going to be a huge heartbreak that is happening for you and the Aries or a Sagittarius or a Leo. So if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries, there's going to be heartbreaks. Okay, there's going to be heartbreaks. There's going to be an ending with you and this person. The tower is going to blow up and there's going to be heartbreaks. Now, what is happening in the fourth week is that you have someone to deal with and this person is um, an older person which is over the age of 40 so it could be a man or it could be a woman but whatever is transpiring you have to deal with these fire sign people because you have the energy of uh, the day is this is a karmatic situation and you really have to deal with it okay so as, 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 as we look at um, what is transpiring between this person so if you're a man and you are married to someone who is an Aries okay there is going to be a, a collapse of the relationship there's going to be a huge collapse of the relationship because what is happening is that um, you are seeing and what is happening there is a huge collapse because of uh, um, a situation where um, this person you know this these persons can be very devious I can tell you that from now okay so it is an, a visionary passionate person okay this person is a visionary passionate person but there is going to be a collapse because this person is uh, have a spree for a spree, spree, <laughs> free spirit and a true visionary characteristic this person is usually waiting until later to settle down or start a family and this person can be very busy and that's sort of the thing with her with his or her career okay because it's obviously if you're a man and you're married to someone like this or you're in a relationship with someone like this the energy of the tower is going to come there is going to be a separation and a, a disaggregation of the relationship um, the energy of the two of ones that comes between the first week with this daughter of um, daughter of ones and the tower it is a um, uh, demonstration and direction so what is going to happen is that um, it, there is going to be clarity you're going to be on the right part to success and you have focus on your goals and have bodily point all effects in that direction since the suit is more of a passionate hard working and that sort of a situation but as we look forward and we're looking at what is transpiring is that you can see that money is the most important thing in this relationship in this month the ten of Pentacles is here in the middle and that is all the focus is all about money money the focus is all about money and what is transpiring is that there was someone who was listening to you there was someone who was uh, um, you know getting involved in your personal life and getting involved in certain situations and it was a man this person was an um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and it was a young person it was younger than who you are so you know maybe you're over 40 and the person was between the ages of 18 and uh, 
18 and 40 something so what is happening what is transpiring here is that at the end your outcome for this month is going to be a completion the ending of something because you can see the ending of something here and a new beginning with an older person so <laughs> I'm sorry but um, it's so funny because it's as if as someone out there and this is a message for someone out there it's going to end a relationship or a situation with someone who is a fire sign so you could be ending with an Aries and starting something with a Sagittarian <laughs> and um, and it can be by so um, vice versa your but this is really because in the first week of February this the situation is going to happen there's going to be a heartbreak but yet still um you're seeing because your outcomes is the world and this is um, very good and this is very positive because uh, at one side the world is always endings and you beginning coming right behind so you some of you are handing a situation with the daughter of um, Pentacles and the daughter of, of, of um, once and the daughter of once is going to open a new door or close a door that she had opened with someone who was a sword sign without you even knowing because it's as if she had a private investigation a private investigation or she has been listening to your information and that sort of a thing and you're going to realize that and it's going to come to an end and then you are going to think that with that ending you're going to listen to your intuition and connect with an older person so it's as if you're leaving this young person behind because she has done something that you found out about and you are broken about the situation because it's as if she sends someone or someone is listening to your conversation watching your telephone reading your messages and that sort of a thing and um, you, you you're heartbroken about it and you know her whole thing is just all about the Pentacles it's just all about the money and a new beginning is going to start with an older person which is much much more positive and much more better for you because it's as if you were with this young person and then this situation happened and then you're just going to leave it behind and you know get yourself going and start moving forward in your life and um, you are going to make changes in your life and this is going to be good because whatever the situation is for you cancers you need to understand and this is a beautiful beautiful um, a beautiful um, layout what is happening here because the message is still clear whatever that is happening it's all about the money okay um, somebody is going to try and get away with something and you just need to to rest somebody is going to try and get away with something just rest leave it leave it don't even try to you know just totally just disaggregate you just leave it okay because it's it's, it's uh, uh, sometimes things tend to work out in uh, you know because sometimes people think that they're going to get away with something but it's not going to happen okay sometimes people just think they're going to get away with something but it's not really going to happen because um, you're on top of your game and why you're on top of your game is that you always listen to your own um, intuition and guidance okay so let's move forward and see what is the orbs energy for you and the orbs energy you have Archangel Gabriel Archangel Michael and Archangel Shamuel with the unicorn energies carrying spirit someone else had gotten this this is a wonderful um, orbs to look at this is a very positive orbs to look at so call upon Archangel Gabriel for um, um, and, and, and invite uh, the uh, element master of thorn, uh, thorn fire salamanders and the fire dragons declare the situations whatever is going on and the energies around you and in your house and in your car and then you're call, going to call upon Archangel Michael for divine protection and Archangel Shamuel to heal your heart from the art break and the unicorn energies that is carrying spirits um, acts the unicorn to bring spirits to help you in whatever situation that is happening around you okay 
um, let's look and see what the ascendance masters have and the ascension card has okay so let's look and see what is happening for you guys you have the una prior and this is a way of asking your wishes to be granted and you have to do this for 30 days okay so you can stop the video and read this card for it to tell you how um, to manifest your dreams the number eight energy is here twice three and five is eight and you uh, um, number eight is on the card so you are going to have the energy of number eight coming in for you this is going to be a positive month go back look at the um, and I can read it um, for you the only prior is that I Prince of Hermes um, took a stripe from Atlantis to um, Hawaii where he established the Kahuna tribe and thought the tribe the Una the Huna prize first address your prize to the angel or masters of your choice state your request three times in positive terms that you have already have it then sit with your palms open up and say may the rains of my blessing fall so be it repeat this for 30 days and you will see the universal angels and guides bringing your um, uh, what you need to you watch for the signs from the universe and take action at any time if it feels right your guidance is to start a prize for some aspect of your life or con continue if you are already started one so it's a very very positive energies congratulations for getting that okay let's look and see what Archangel Metatron and Archangel Ragiel is bringing up for you guys it is the activation of the sacred geometry the activation of the sacred geometry and you have um, the 34 passion so red is going to be your color orange is going to be your color for this month orange so let's look at um, what is happening the frequency of passion reminds us that breed every um, intense emotion lies the beneath every intensive emotion lies the hidden gem of insights balance and calm it assists us in finding the balance with this intensity moving us from true a chaos to the calm of its core where we can let its long last wisdom fill us up and this is good this is positive this is good this is a good energy so um, gaze on this because it's an activation card so it activate the passion within you and by activating the passion within you you are going to be feeling vibrant no matter what is happening no matter what has broken down no matter what has transpired you are going to feel this passion ladies and gentlemen i'm wishing you a wonderful wonderful month we will talk next week